I added a couple more features to the analog synth. This has been a labor of love. More labor than love, possibly. Okay, it's all in the keyboard controller, if you remember. And I'm going to go here and say analog synth is my instrument, and it brings this up. And there's four major modules of the analog synth I've built. The top one is oscillators, the top left. The next one is an envelope, and I'll talk about what these are in a sec. The third one is a low frequency oscillator, and the fourth one is filters. So if you remember, uh, we can do this. We have waves now that you select. So for this oscillator, what an oscillator does is it uh, sends out a sound wave. And so you choose what kind of sound wave do you want. I want a sine wave. And it automatically sets to default ADSR. An ADSR is again attack, decay, sustain, and release. So it's the way it shapes that sound wave in terms of amplitude. So in terms of, you know, how quickly does it come up to the note? Uh, it decays a little bit from, from that, that peak and uh, then it'll sustain up for a period of time and then how long does it take to release uh, the note. Like on a piano, if you press down on the piano, it, it, it uh, takes a while for the string to start vibrating. That's the attack. And the decay is after it stops or at, you know, the first time the, the hammer hits the string, it will um, be at a higher amplitude than it is just a tad afterwards. And that's the decay. So it goes from a an initial attack, a punch, and then it and it goes down to a sustained level, and then it releases as it slowly stops, um, or, or it it stops uh, the the string stops uh, vibrating. So, so if we go to and just go ahead and hit the sine wave, and oh, let's get over here. Why did I do that? Let's go ahead and do something like minor pentatonic. So. So I'm just playing notes on <clears throat> on the PC keyboard to do that. So that, that's a sine wave. That was simple. I did add a couple more waveforms. And, you know, I've got square. You know, a, a sine wave sounds very smooth. Ooh, ooh, ooh. A square wave usually sounds a little more hollow. And I'll talk about these in a, my, my tutorials I'm going to do that we talked about in our meetings. Uh, saw wave is usually a little buzzier. And the triangle is a, a lot like a um, sine wave, but a little sharper. And I've added another one. I've added white noise. So it's random frequencies. Uh, and it and it's, uh, gets the random frequencies by whatever. It looks at the clock to see what time it is. And from that, it uses it as a seed to go ahead and create random noises. Pink is a little bit softer version of noise. So there you go. I mean, those are the, the, the six synths I have for each oscillator. So I could say have a sine, yeah, we've seen this before, I could have a sine wave. And I could say have a, have it combined with a square wave. And I could control how much I was doing that. So I could, you know, that was more sine wave, less square wave. More, yeah, this is a lot of sine wave with hardly any square wave. Here's a square or sine wave with uh, quite a bit of uh, a sine wave, square wave. So, so you can you can combine them. You can pan them to the left or right. And we talked about the phase and detune as well for each one of the synthesizers. Um, the other thing I added. So let's go ahead and say. The other thing is no wave, so I want it, to, you know, I want it to stop. So only right now is the sine wave is the only one that's active. So again, and this was again quick with the envelope. The envelope says it attacks pretty quickly. I'm gonna press it down and it attacks pretty quickly. Now if I set the attack way up, it'll take a while for it to to slowly. It'll ramp up slowly. So I'm gonna press it down. You heard that versus the quick attack. Here's a you know the quicker attack. 
right away it goes. And release is, you know, kind of, and decay is how, when it goes from the, the peak of the, the attack, and then it kind of decays a little bit. It loses a little bit of amplitude in three tenths of a second. Uh, then it sustains, and so I can make the sustain a little bit longer. And then release is, once I let go of the key, how long does it take it for it to, for the sound to just fade away? So I put a long release on it, I'm going to put it down, I'm going to release it. And it's going to take four seconds for it to release there. So that's what this does. And this is these attack curves are you know, it gets into it. It's a, the difference between linear and exponential curves. And and again, it just is, is how aggressive uh, does it does it go from zero to you know the attack? Is it a concave or a convex curve that gets you there? And again, I'll do some stuff with some graphs that show how that works. Uh, the other big thing that I added we saw. We saw the filters before. Basically, what that just does is I'm saying I'm playing a sound wave. A filter says, "Well, let's uh, let's say a low pass filter, and <clears throat> set a cut cut off. This is all the way up. But if I turn it way down, so this is only the frequencies below 2,000. Sounds almost the same because it's so low. But if I get up there on a high note." But then I get to go up, but more of it gets through in the higher notes. So that is um, filters. I need to put one in here that says no filter. Oh, I do. There it is. Look, I already thought about doing that. Then the LFO. What the LFO does is um, you use, what it is, is it's a variating, it's a wave that sends a, a um, set of numbers on a curve. So... It will send like uh, it will send it at a certain you know at a certain speed, and and it's, what it is is it's actually a sound wave that's being generated from zero to ten hertz, or for in my case, or but I have ten, yeah, I set ten hertz, which is way below what a person can hear. But it, but it generates a sets of values, so it's going to say it's going to have a sine wave, and let's say I want it to go to ten. And you can set a minimum output you want it to generate, like a minus ten and a ten. So it'll very so it'll do um, at ten hertz. It will uh, over you know uh, it will generate a number between minus ten and ten, and it does it on a sine wave. So it, so it's a real nice smooth wah 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 type 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 uh, movement. And you can use it to control a bunch of stuff. I've set up the pitches so far for the various oscillators. I'm going to also do it to control volume, and I'll probably add pan down here as well to control pan, so it'll pan, you know, sweep back and forth. Um, but uh, let's say for oscillator pitch number one, which is where I've got my sine wave hooked up. So what this is going to do when I press it now is you'll see it's going to do the pitch. Uh, it's going to move the pitch uh, ten, ten and minus ten. Uh, um, percentage the pitch so a little bit lower, a little bit higher in a in a in a in a cyclical fashion. So you'll hear, so you, you hear that. So so it's going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth because it's just changing the frequency. Now you can turn it down. You know, so you can go anywhere from kind of vibrato. You know. Um, and you can change these numbers to high or low, so you can make this minus 100 and 100. You, you can put any number in here and and do it. Now, and now it's going to be greater. It's going to be a wider because it's it's doing that very quickly back and forth, but it's doing it uh, changing the frequency quite a bit more than it was before. So then, if I slow that way down. So there you go. I mean, so that's what an oscillator does on pitch. So um, those are the things I have, uh, and so it's a pretty, a pretty full-featured um, analog synthesizer uh, in terms of being able to create music. And what I'm, what you're going to do is, what you do as a, as you, as a, you're doing a synthesis. Uh, you, you basically, you will go set up something that you really like. You combine waves. Uh, and then and and add LFOs to whatever you want you want to to, to, to add some movement inside of that note being played, uh, and then what you'll do is you'll save this as a preset. So I would save this, you know, as uh, you know, what is I don't know what it sounds like. 
I call that woo woo or something, you know. So I mean, and but you know, versus this one <laughs> is a different one. And um, so yeah, that's it. Um, the uh, I'm going to be adding this week something called FM frequency modulation um, to it, which which allows you to create some really crazy. Um, sounds but in that case right now you heard the, the low, low frequency oscillator is changing the pitch on this oscillator um, and so it's, it's using that that cyclical wave to, to go change the pitch you can you can what FM does is say don't use a simple wave like that use another wave so you could use a wave of a piano which is a very complex looking uh, waveform to control and change let's say the pitch on the uh, on a, on a sine wave, or you could use a, so it's, I, I again, you know, do some uh, tutorials on that as part of the things that we talked about doing uh, in our meeting. I'm gonna have to go create these because this is just um, the guts of it and a way to interface with the guts of it. We're gonna turn that into those blocks and stuff that you heard us, us talking about, but uh, here we go, that's it. <laughs>